Yeah. I'm a huge trash talk. I, but I thought I was the best until I did Uncle Drew and you meet Reggie Miller. Like, Reggie, what? Reggie, man, Dave and Buster's brother, why are you? Just, it's not even a real hoop. What are you doing, man? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Today, we're grateful to have one of the hardest working men in showbiz on the rush, actor and comedian, Little Real Howie. What's up with you, Real? How you doing? What's up, fam? How you doing? What's going on? I'm doing good, man. Not as good as you, though, man. I know you were just in the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, which has been nominated for almost pretty much every Oscar. So you want to practice your acceptance speech right here on the rush? I usually, I'm telling I'm one of those people, I don't care about award shows, right? <laughs> and, but it felt good, though. As much as I'm always like that, I, I'm so happy for that great, crew and just such a powerful film to be a part of. Uh, it's been, man, it's just, the impact has been great. Man, that's great to hear. Well, you might not talk on the stage for that, but you can talk here. So you want to talk a little college hoops with me? Oh, definitely. I'm Man, I've enjoyed so much college basketball so far. The conference tournaments were great. Well, who's your squad? I mean, you excited? I know Illinois. I mean, you're from Chicago. They got a number one seed. They got Loyola Chicago's there. Yeah. Okay. Who you rooting for? Like, I didn't like that. That was unfair to put them in the same bracket. I thought that was, <laughs> that was bad. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, that did make me a little upset. But I am excited for Illinois looks great. They're well coached. Loyal Chicago's a sleeper, to be honest with you. Those are two of my teams. LSU, I like a lot. Georgetown, I don't care if it's 13 and 12. They look like they don't care what they record is. Like, if you watch to play in that conference tournament. I hear that you and Rob Riggle are doing something really cool for March Madness. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about your project. Well, you know, first of all, we did these amazing commercials with the cool Aflac duck who just, he's hilarious. Yeah, he only says Aflac, but he's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing trash talk deliveries. That's right. We're delivering trash talk. And I'm a, Ooh. I'm a huge trash talk. I, well, I thought I was the best until I did Uncle Drew and then you meet Reggie Miller. Like, Reggie, where, Reggie, where you at? Dave and Buster's brother, why are you? Just, it's not even a real hoop. What are you doing, man? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> look, all you gotta do is use the hashtag post pain trash talk on Twitter. The Aflac people will see that. Aflac will send a comedian to whoever crib you want them to, 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 to get talked to, you know what I'm saying? To talk trash to. And that's what Aflac gonna do. Now, look, man, look, you got some real beef with somebody, please. Please don't don't involve us in that. Uh, that is not covered, and uh, I don't want anything to do with that. But you up there in trash talking? You saying because you used to play high school basketball? Is that where you developed trash talking? No, nah, I've developed that playing on the playgrounds of the West Side of Chicago. Like you know, <laughs> high school, like you get tech for doing that high school basketball. We talking about like when you at the park and you almost scared the trash talk. You're like, okay, he is a gang member, so if I talk crazy. <laughs> Chance I might get my butt kicked. You know what I mean? Is there a limit? You know, like you know the limits. You know how far you can get away with. You're like, Man, all right, that's too far. You really do. You, about the mama out there. you almost gotta let somebody <laughs> score a couple of times if you're like, all right, I don't, I don't want to get jumped for killing these dudes. So like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let this brother score two times straight. We'll still win. You just, you know, <laughs> mean, he don't think I'm over defending him. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, yo. Speaking of trash talk, one of the people who likes to talk a lot on Twitter is Kevin Durant. Him and Mike Conley actually are producers on an Oscar-nominated short. And it seems like a lot more athletes are getting involved in, in, in film. And I wonder, as you being a sports fan and an actor, who's an athlete you would love to play their biopic? Ooh, wow, that's a great, wow, that's a great question, brother. Um, you know some? This is a weird pick. Andre Dawson. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm the Cubs, man. One of the coolest baseball players of all time. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't all swool up, but he was a home run hitter. He just knew how to make contact. Andre Dawson, Jerry Curl was one of the realest curls ever. It never looked like it was dry. Even when he played a nine inning game, you're like, that brother curl still juicy. Yeah, that's so glow. <laughs> <It'd be Andre laughs> <Dawson. laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in seven films coming out this year, which is a uh, mind blowing amount of numbers. What would happen if you talked to one of your producers and you said, hey man, I need a load management day? A load management day? Uh, I wouldn't even ask for that. I mean, which, and also too, look, the load management thing is overrated to me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, if you, like if you was like Robert Parrish or like somebody that played the league for like 30 years, okay, I get it, but like, Man, you like 28 years. No, brother, you no, no load management. Cause you know, I'm from look, I'm the era of the 90s is my era. So like it wasn't no load management. Them dudes play whatever games they can play. Every game, you know what I mean? So like load management, please. And they would practice hard back in that day. You get fouled in practice. That's back when Jordan we out there trying to maybe have a full on five on five game. You saw the last dance? 
I know you're Bulls now, man. You're a Jordan fan. You got the Bulls hat on right now. Let's yeah. talk about the Bulls. Look, let's say the movie Free Guy goes out and makes $20 trillion in the box office, and you get enough residual money to buy the team. What would you do to make the Bulls back to the 90s relevance, you know? Well, honestly, I believe we're on our way back. I like Billy Donovan a lot as a coach. I love the way the team is coming together. Zach Levine was an all-star this year. That's great. I love our, our rookie Patrick Williams. Kobe White, once he's going to start turning the ball over so much, would be great. I, I think it's a few moves we need to make. You know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> well, look, real man, I appreciate you rushing me today. Uh, I look forward to all of March Madness here. You guys trash talk and hearing you have fun with the Af Black Duck. Uh, thank you. Come on again soon, man. We appreciate it. Hey, we, we are excited. Thanks for having me. I can't, hopefully y'all enjoy these hilarious commercials. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother, man. Take care.